Hey everybody, Kiki Cannon here. Um, today I'm going to show you guys how to make drill curls um, for cosplay. And this is basically an example of what I'm going to show you how to make. Um, and you don't have to make it taper like this. Um, but this is just what I did because I was using it for my Catherine cosplay. But there are many other characters featured in anime and video games and such that might have this kind of um, hairstyle. <clears throat> Working with wigs has always been super, super scary for me because pretty much like once you cut it, you can't really go back. Um, so it's always been something that I work to try to improve. And I didn't really find any videos on how to um, do something like this. It was mostly trial and error. Um, and there's some great tips I figured out on how to get a more successful um, curl from just practicing it over and over again. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and tell you the supplies you're going to need. A comb or something like this that you don't really mind getting somewhat dirty. Um, these little plastic rubber band things, you can get them really cheap at a Beauty Depot store or something. You can get like a whole baggie of them. I have a bunch of them for like a dollar. Um, also, you will need whatever hair that you want to curl. So, any kind of like weft. And I'm going to use this. And it's, it's already kind of like weft in. And on my drill curl, I actually didn't take it off. I mean, you can um, sew it into your wig if you want, or you could take this part off. It's just really up to you. Um, when I actually had it in my Catherine wig, I kind of um, clipped it in there, and I put the other hair over it, and I kind of just hid it in there. And the reason why I have it separated, well, there's a lot of reasons of why I have it as a separate piece. Um, one, I travel a lot, so... Instead of having this big, huge wig with these things coming off of it, it's so easy for it to get damaged. I was able to kind of put um, both the curls and condense them and put them in like a box. And that way they don't get destroyed. Um, another reason, it's just easier to upkeep the wig and if I need to restyle the wig versus if this was attached to it um, and I need to um, kind of fix up the main part of the wig, this might get in the way. Um, Another reason is if you're trying to create like a ponytail uh, look, a lot of the reasons why they have the separated clips on there is if you try to take the hair and kind of pull it into a ponytail, sometimes the sides and stuff can just like pull up and overall it just kind of looks sort of messy. Um, this is just my experience. I'm not saying it's not possible. Um, this is just the method I, I went to do um, doing because of these reasons. So basically, whatever hair you want and um, <clears throat> realistically you can have it as long as you want as thick as you want you might just have to change a little bit um, how, how you do it and I'll kind of explain it as I go as, as the best as I can you also want to have some kind of like napkin or, or wipe and I just have this like kind of wet towel here to wipe my hands off because we're going to be using um, got to be glued products the glue and the hairspray and um, I know so many people recommend this and honestly before people started using this I tried so many different things and this has been the best thing I have ever used or worked with from styling wigs it has been the most effective um, I, I have like a variety of things and they never work and then the great thing about it is it won't destroy the wig I have used other glues and they don't really wash out or anything like that. So if you mess up, it's okay. You can take like some shampoo. You can kind of wash it out and you can start over again after you dry it out and everything, everything like that. So that's the advantage. Um, the only thing is a lot of people internationally have asked me how I did some of my wigs. And unfortunately, I have no idea what the comparison to this is in some other countries. So unfortunately, I don't know. But if somebody does know, um, feel free to tell me um, because I have no idea. Um, and the got to be glued products, if you are in the U.S., you can get them, you know, at Walmart, uh, Walgreens, I think CVS, Target. It's pretty easy. Um, it's pretty easy material to acquire. 
So, also you will need whatever object you want to form it around. So, this is basically going to determine how your curl will look. For my Catherine, it has this kind of um, tapering, kind of tapers down like this. Um, and I actually created the object for it. It was kind of like a, a cone shape. I'm just using this to show you guys because I have no idea where it is now. But I created it, I think, out of like duct tape and something else. And I created a cone and then I wrapped it around the cone. Um, and also depending on what you want your curl to look like, you, you could use wire. Um, these have a little small thin wiring in them. You can kind of see in there. And wire does, I, I didn't use white, regrettably now, I see, yeah, maybe white would have worked better. But the nice thing about wire is that it can be coated in different colors, like purples, greens, blues. So it would be easy to kind of blend it in um, with whatever wig color you have. And this is just, what I did is um, I just took the wire and I bent it to flow with my curl. And then I took smaller pieces of wire and I stuck them through a little tiny piece of the hair and then I twisted it and cut it so that it's, it actually will stay in place. Um, I have seen other people use like clear plastic and they cut it out. So, and then they lined their wig that way. Um, so I'm guessing maybe they, um, glue, maybe they formed it off of the object and cut it out with it. I'm not really sure. So there are other methods. Um, you could do research and stuff. I didn't really find too much information, but it is out there. And if you don't have the wiring, which might work for what you're doing, I have so many failed pieces, but here's kind of an idea. Hold on. These things are kind of stuck together. Okay. It will, it will have a shape but it will just be kind of looser um, and just kind of depending on your character maybe that's maybe that's like what you want um, it could work for like looser curls in a wig like let's say your character has these like little curly doodads in the front like this you know maybe that'll work for you awesome um, it, it, it just varies there's so many variations but just to get a general idea I'm gonna do it um, on this so it's just gonna be like a straight twisty curl. So you have your um, piece of hair or whatever. You just do half of this. Also if it's really thick it might take longer to dry. So you might also want um, like I use a hair dryer. Just be careful of the temperature though and be mindful if your wig is synthetic you do not want to melt it. And if your wig is not synthetic, it will usually show you the temperatures in which, how high, how much heat it can take. Generally, um, a, a, an air, like a, a blow dryer is okay. Just don't kind of like leave the heat in one spot, just kind of like move it around. Um, but definitely test it first because I don't want to be the reason that your stuff gets destroyed. So don't blame me, it's not my fault. Anyway, here we go. Here's this piece. And I'm going to get a little rubber band thingy. Just going to wrap it around here until it's tight. Now, this may not come out perfect the first time you do it. Um, so don't, don't freak out. It's okay. I mess up all the time. And you can just do it again. It's not the end of the world. You can just wash it out and start over. And it is not very much hair. But if you're doing like a lot of hair, which my pole is not very big, um, you can, you might want a wider pole because basically, and it's all about the thickness. Basically what we're going to do is after we put glue on it, I'm going to carefully, and that's the key objective, wrap it around. I'm already struggling and I don't even have glue on it. Carefully wrap it around 
and the material I'm using is kind of slick. Wrap it around this and it's going to dry in here and that's how you're going to get your shape. So wish, wish, wish me luck. But yeah, I definitely recommend something like that it can pull off from and there's a very specific way I actually get it off of it, which I took many, many tries doing um, to get it to look clean. So that was definitely a pain in the butt. So first you're going to take your got to be glued glue and I'm just going to squirt some over here on this piece of cardboard I have. And it's going to be like white and sticky like that. And this is just how I do it. Do it however you want. I'm messy. Okay. Don't be afraid to be messy. And then after it's combed, and it's nice and straight. Don't put both hands in it because then you're just, just going to be too messy. Okay. So start to do this. Put in your hands. And only go one direction, only only go down. So we're just going down with the glue, like this. And keep putting it on. Ah, you're going to need a lot. Make sure to get it nice and smooth. See how this part, it doesn't have as much, so it's kind of flaring out. We don't really want that. We want it to all just kind of stick together. So just have to keep putting it on, smoothing it out. Now you're going to take the comb and it's going to kind of start from the bottom and just comb through it. Start from the bottom because you don't want to start from the top because then you can create tangles just like you brush your regular hair. For those of you who have long hair, probably know what I'm talking about. And if you don't, then oh well. Okay. Ugh. Okay. Ugh. Okay. Just getting some of the excess glue out and then just re-smoothing it with my hand again. Now this is probably not going to be absolutely perfect, but if you want it to be perfect, you know, spend, spend more time on it and you can apply glue and smooth it out and go through the process. When I, when I did these ones, I was a little bit more of a perfectionist, but since this is a tutorial, I'm not going to kill myself over doing it because I'm literally only doing this for the sole purpose of showing you guys how to do it. So you guys are special. Okay. Oh, actually that kind of worked out. Okay, that looks pretty clean. Yay. So, now that we have it clean, clean enough, I'm actually gonna put a little bit more glue on it because I want it super sticky so that it will stick, 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 stick to my object stick. Okay. Yeah. For those of you who are enjoying this right now, you're bad. Anyway. So, okay. Uh, okay. So, we're just gonna slowly, oh, okay, I fucked up already. Two seconds, two seconds. I gotta fix this. See, easier said than done. Take this rubber band and actually wrap it. Okay. Shit. Okay. One of these days I'm gonna get this. <laughs> My God. Okay. Wrap it around here. Okay, there we go. Now I'm going to do this part. That makes more sense, right? Yeah, okay. See, I'm learning as I go. I totally already 
forgot the initial way I did this because I did it a little bit differently. But this is basically the concept. Okay. And then, going to neatly kind of wrap it. And then you see I'm using my hands to kind of guide it evenly. This part needs to be a little bit cleaner. Okay. Kind of guiding it and guiding it around. And you can kind of move these and even them out on here after they're already on here. And then I'm actually going to take another rubber band because I didn't use enough glue. So mine actually isn't sticking. Well, actually, that's not going to work. I'm just going to take more glue. Multi hand talented. More glue. Probably going to need to buy more after this. Come on. Okay. And I'm just going to take it and literally just rubbing it like over it like this. So I'm just taking it and I'm rubbing it over it and look it, it stayed. I just did it on the tiny piece and you see all these little pieces here? It's okay. You're gonna take the glue and you're literally gonna rub it all over the tops of these. Oh shit. That's not supposed to happen. <laughs> Don't have enough glue down yet. So as you're doing that Make sure you're like pressing in the same direction the hair is going. So be mindful that you're not going in the opposite direction because then the hair is going to get all matted and tangled. And that's definitely not what we want. Okay, after you do it all, it should be on there pretty nice and clean. As you're brushing it on there, you can kind of take the hair and kind of form it together and clean it up. And if you need your comb to kind of go in and like carefully like comb it together and mat it down so it's cleaner looking. Um, and then the glue also is going to help it pretty much stick to the pole. So when you're rubbing it, if you just kind of rub it all over it, and kind of like on the pole also, or whatever object you're doing, um, it'll stay on there, okay? So after you're done with that, clean off your hand if you need to. Uh, and we're gonna take the got to be glued spray, and I'm just gonna spray it. Okay, and since it's wet, I'm actually going to take my finger and smooth it out again because I just want this to look somewhat decent when I am done. And if you're pushing it down, you might notice the hair was pulling up and it has some excess. Keep moving that excess until it's completely flat against the item. And it should stay on there. If you want, you can put like another band on the bottom to like hold the bottom. And your tail might be kind of like like messy. And that's okay because when you're done, you can take the scissors. And you can clean it up. Can clean that up. Okay. Looks good so far. So now we just have to pretty much wait um, to speed up the process. You can take a hair dryer, blow dryer and you can blow dry it out. Okay, so after it's dry, which you can like let it sit overnight and then usually it's dry, or you can kind of blow dry it for about 
30 minutes to an hour maybe, um, you can take it off. And I think this is the most important part. So you can either take like a thin piece of flashing, flashing metal. Um, you can get like thin pieces of metal at the hardware store or like other kind of thin plastic or something. Um, I usually use the ruler because it has this really thin edge and you want it to be as thin as possible. And taking it off is the most important part because you usually can't just like pull it off because some of it are still stuck on there and it'll like pull it and then it'll be messy and it'll be ugly and it won't work. Um, so usually what I do to see if it's dry is I, I kind of already did is take the tip and kind of peel it off and kind of feel if it's dry or not. This is still a little wet for taking for um, taking it off. Um, if it still feels like kind of like gooey or obviously wet to the touch, it definitely isn't ready. I should probably leave this on a little bit longer, but I'm just gonna go ahead and take it off. And what you wanna do is where it's kind of like pulling up, you kind of just take this and it's kind of like you're peeling an apple. And you just scrape it along, pull up all the little pieces of hair, and you just kind of like carefully go along and you just peel it up. Slowly and carefully, you're just slowly peeling it up. Kind of like you're peeling a piece of fruit. And mine isn't gonna come out as clean, cause like I said, still kind of wet. It's getting a little bit tangly. So I'm not doing a perfect job. So mine's a little messy. Hopefully yours came out cleaner because mine's a little bit wet. So it's kind of gooey, which is not good. Just gonna finish getting this off of here. Just to kind of show you guys. And the drier it is, you'll find the easier it will kind of peel off. And a lot of it will just kind of pull off on its own. But this is just to guide it in case anything is sticking to kind of get it off together evenly. So it doesn't come off like a total mess. So if yours is kind of looking like this, like mine is, you might have took it off a little bit too soon. But if yours is kind of looking like that, with a lot of the loose strands, you might have took it off a little bit too soon. And that's why it's not as structured. So if I would have waited longer, um, it would be a little bit more like together, like, like this and it would be hard. Um, and this is the point where you can add in the wire and if you do have like any loose hairs, kind of, you can kind of see, you can kind of, um, you can take scissors and clean it up. So whatever shape you want, you can kind of put it in and then add your wire, insert or plastic. And that's kind of how you get a curl. Thank you guys for watching my silly video and my next video is going to be on creating your own plaid for a pleated skirt. So if that's something you're interested in, feel free to check out more of my videos and go ahead and check out all my Canon Cosplay content on my Patreon where I post updates and progress photos, more um, videos and pretty much everything that's going on with what I'm doing. Thank you guys. See you next time.